All right, guys, the maiden of the 6S FMS Pits 1400. Here we go. Oh, geez. That is beautiful. Hopefully I didn't go into the sun, John. Yeah, I'd say. Oh man. This is so good, guys. Hopefully I'm not blowing your ears out. But holy moly. Like I've got the E-Flight 850 millimeter and it flies great. Handles really well, actually. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling good already, John. Th think you're gonna need to be nimble on the, that, that uh, camera there. Oh yeah, low rates. I think I've got like 60% or whatever on the ailerons. I can bump that up a little bit, but that was pretty scale. Holy moly. I love this, dude. This is like Abbotsford Air Show at our local flying field. I don't think I've done a thing of trim either. That looks so nice. Look at that. All those birds flying around it. Holy crap, FMS, you, you did a great job on this plane, guys, and gals, whoever actually worked on it. This handles way better than I thought, guys. It's been a long week, so I'm a little jazzed up. Wanted to get out here to fly it before the sun went down, and my God, this is awesome. And I have to say that it assembled at the field very quickly, very easily. And I'm flying this way lower than I expected to be flying it in those tight turns. What, is, what are your thoughts, John? Looks good from here, sky looks good. Looks good. I think if we can get some earth in it, that would be sweet. Awesome. John knows how I think. One of the best cameramen in RC, John VHRC is on the camera and a significant amount of the credit to the success of this channel is John. So check out his channel, guys. He's also got videos of this. He did a nice build video as well as a, a really nice maiden flight. He did it on pavement. I'm a little less daring, so I'm doing it on grass and I'm enjoying this so much. All right, so we need to do a loop. Oh yeah. Did that fuzz out at all, John? Maybe after you got level, it might have. The loop would look good. All right, well, let's try that again. Don't be afraid to get tight on it. Oh yeah. I'm digging this plane, guys. I really don't want to land it, but it sounds like my timer's coming up on five minutes. May do a couple test approaches, get a feel for it, get it dialed in. Yes, that wasn't even a good landing, guys. That plane, that landing gear, that new upgraded landing gear on this version two helped me on that. 
Let's see if we can taxi back in the grass. I'm not gonna push it too hard because I truly enjoyed this flying this plane. But it's working great. I've got some up elevator working through this thick Washington grass. We've had so much rain lately, guys. It's not even funny. Man, that landing was so forgiving. I was not perfect on that. Oh yeah. All right guys, when we come back, we're gonna see how much battery is left in the tank. All right, let's unplug this. Pull that out. And this is where we had that smart pack. So basically right at the end of that ridge, the center of gravity felt excellent. I think I did one click of aileron trim and that was it, guys. Let me position that for you, John. Holy moly, 67% left in the tank. Wow. Guys, I'm gonna recap really quick. This plane flew great. It assembled at the field. I've got a teeny tiny little car. It assembled really well at the field and it flew amazing. Check the links in the description. Check out John VHRC's channel. All that being said, GB Linden, out.